Madam Chair, Commissioner, colleagues, I certainly welcome today's deliberation and a good speed uh, with which we are moving towards adoption of a new package uh, of macrofinancial assistance to Ukraine. Let me say from the outset, the proposal on the table as adopted by the leading committee ITRE is a very balanced step forward. Just to look back a little bit, in my view, the conditions set for the previous MFA package, 21 policy measures in total were far too many as and complicated. In all fairness, it was also a huge mistake that the last MFA installment to Ukraine was refused even though 17 conditions have been fulfilled. This time, we are given a proof. Ukraine is able to deliver. Once it receives a clear-cut signals and expectations from our side, establishment of the High Anti-Corruption Court is with no doubt a very meaningful step in creation of future and European Ukraine. Colleagues, I would like to stress very clearly, even though we are right to expect many more things to be accomplished by Ukraine on its European path, we cannot deny the truth. And the truth is that it is exactly Ukraine which is setting up an example for a whole world on how a country which is in a state of war is able to progress with reforms and great transformations. Yes, implementation is that important, but there is always a stage of adoption beforehand. Let me mention just a few more acts of legislation recently approved by Verkhovna Rada. Law on pensions reform, law on health care, law on education. These are the facts. I wish to conclude by saying that the clearly cut responsibilities also remain with us, the European Union. Namely, EU policies and conditions must be tailored in such a way that eventually help to protect Ukraine's independence and do not jeopardize social economic life of its people. Thank you.